Well, life is slowly getting back to normal on Aquidneck Island following last week's gas emergency. Today, an informational session was held for businesses impacted to help them get back on their feet. Iowa to Sue's reporter Eric Halperin joins us now live in studio with what steps business owners can start taking today. Eric. Mike and Shannon, since just about everyone in Newport has gas back on, one of the big concerns now is how people and businesses are going to recover financially. Well, there's now a loan program aimed at helping businesses do just that. Gas is back on around Newport. Many businesses are back open, but some business owners still aren't sure how much money was lost because of the outage. Still trying to calculate that right now. Yeah. Uh, keeps getting higher and higher. Charlie Holder owns Surf Club and Midtown Oyster Bar. He attended Tuesday's info session to learn about what's next. I just want to see what our options are um, after this past week and you know, try to, if we can recoup some of the things that we lost uh, due to the outage, uh, that would be great. But I just kind of really want to see, you know, what the offer is and uh, what the next, uh, next step is in the plans. One of the offers to help businesses in town is from the Rhode Island Commerce Corporation. The state has started a $1.45 million natural gas disaster loan program. Businesses affected by the outage can apply for loans up to $25,000. The Commerce Corporation is calling them bridge loans, while businesses work through the claims process with National Grid Air Insurance. It can take too long from the perspective of getting back up and running now, so we wanted to have a loan product that would meet your needs and enable you to move faster than the insurance process. And the loans will be interest free if paid back within six months. I do believe that Newport and Middletown will come back stronger than ever. And applications for the Natural Gas Disaster Loan pr Program are available at the Newport Visitor Center and on the Commerce Corporation's website. I'm Eric Alpern, Eyewitness News.